doing her due diligence, trying to plan our trip to the best of her abilities. What do you got going on there, babe? That's the park. That's the main road, the red thing. And then there's little black dots showing all the overlooks. There's like something neat that you can see from that where you pull over. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you trying to camera. Day hikes. It doesn't show you a map of where they're at. Round trip, time it takes, difficulty, elevation. Okay, this is what we want. I'm scared of this drive up. Don't be scared of the drive up. In 600 feet, turn right. This is nothing. It's kind of steep. This is where we had to park? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> we're here. Are we like on this road? No. We're, well, I will in a second. Let me okay. just see, see what's what here. Dude, that was pretty steep up there, but check it out. <laughs> yeah. So, there's our cabin. Oh, God. This yeah. is nuts. <laughs> so, we'll show you the views, everything awesome. The Bronco Sport looking pretty right there. Time to unload everything out of the Bronco Sport, get it down to the cabin. Look at all the groceries and baggage that we had packed. We got all kinds of steps to travel to get down there. So we'll get all unloaded, get in there, start this journey. stop and get a picture we gotta stop well, yeah. there's a pull off right here because think? every national park has the same type of sign here so we're gonna get out and get ourselves a little cheese and there we have it the north entrance to the Shenandoah National Park we're ready to rock and roll oh. right, let's see. morning how are you going? Good. good how are you pretty good good it's gonna be so, a $30 entry fee $30 Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Thanks. Worry about it right now. Look at that map. Give it to us right at the entrance there, showing us different parts of the mountain. Let's get the uh, sunroof open. Oh yeah. Check it. All right. First overlook. We're not even to the visitor center yet. But check out the view already. Train right there. It's like you can see forever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> fresh air. <sighs> oh, fresh air in my big nose. Get a picture. Dickey Ridge Visitor Center. Let's head in there, get some info about the park, try to help us plan our day. Lands Run, first hike of the trip. Tootie, you just put some bug spray all over you. It smells fragrant. Get the backpack, we got all our rations, extra batteries, water. We're gonna get our tripod so we can get some cool pictures. Maybe I'll throw some of those in the video. 
And then when we get back, we can go ahead and tailgate with the Bronco Sport. We got some lunch in the Playmate cooler, so. Is this supposed to be sprayed on your face? Camera gear, Tootie. Backpacks are full of water, snacks. We got our first trail here, which is called, I can't remember. Lands Run. Lands Run. And there should be a cool little waterfall at the end of this hike. And this was what, two miles round trip? 1.3 miles round trip. Takes what, an hour? I don't know. We looked at it in the car, we can't remember. But let's check out the trail here. Look at this tree, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's just like, it's like, hey, hey pal, walk under me. Okay. There it is. Neat little rock formation there. Let's zoom in on that. That's awesome. It's all downhill now. Yep. Is this the end? Mm -hmm. We can walk down here. They're like Careful. steps. Let's try. That's gorgeous. Just a little baby one. I hate you. <laughs> I hate me <you> too. <laughs> that was straight up and down. How sweaty are you? Ew. Yeah, sweaty. Gross. I'm gross too. My heart was pounding. <sighs> so to give you guys a peek, what we're dealing with, we entered right here at the beginning of the red line and we are at mile marker 10 at the Compton Gap elevation 2415 and that is mile marker 10 and we have all of this all of this to travel which is all the way to mile marker 105 so we've covered an inch of this whole page two feet <laughs> so Range view overlook, elevation 2810. Let's go check this one out. This is Elk Wallow Camp Store. It's at mile marker 25. And I hope you guys are enjoying our trip so far go in there so Tootie can buy all kinds of goodies I might get an ice cream cone or something if they got it so ooh look at all the souvenirs ooh look at this that's a cool shirt not for the price but ooh that's a nice one too shop 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 everywhere we go sticker buys for the Bronco Sport there it is what do you got? Christmas tree, ornament, yeah. So we made it to the second section of the park here at mile marker like 25. So it's the Thornton Gap entrance here. And we're just continuing on south like we showed you on the map earlier. And we'll uh, get to our next hike. Check out this cool tunnel. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. Hope it holds up. Oh my god, it's so dark in here. The lights didn't come on.
That was cool. Buck Hollow Overlook coming up. Oh God, oh God. What? There's the... nothing over there. Why can't you see the end of it? Oh my God. Miss Heights over here. Oh. Little Miss Spray to Heights. And there's our trailhead sign. Summit, 4,000 feet. Where are we at right now? 3,600 or something like that. It's like a 300 foot climb, I think. So, should be interesting. It's rock. All right, let's check out what we're dealing with here. We made it to the end. The very end of Stony Man Trail. Let's see what kind of views we're getting here. It's like cliffy right there. Look at you about to fall. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so we're like, what, 4,000 feet? I don't know. 4,000 feet down to there. This is crazy. What a view. Look at this bird right here. So let's head on over to the other side here and see what it looks like. Big tip here, get some good hiking shoes. Not that ours are phenomenal, but. You can see the roadway down there in your driveway. Let's uh, check out the road. All right, guys, Stony Man Trail in the books. This is day one, hike number two. Toadie, did you have a good time? I did. This is such an awesome view, guys. We're going to end our hiking adventures today with this hike here. Back to the cabin for some food and wine, maybe a little hot tub, maybe a little... Don't. Look at this turkey in the middle of the road. He's calling for... Look at it's a little Jake. It's got a little beard there, calling for its girlfriends or something. So this is what we call a beautiful sunset with storm clouds at the same time. We got Tootie in the hot tub. I'm in the hot tub. 
in the rain, hoping we don't get struck by lightning. But we still got that beautiful dusk over the mountains. Isn't that just darling? A bit of bacon grease, cooking them eggs. Ooh, baby, the toast just popped. Look how awesome the bacon looks. Yeah. The day two hike starts now. Leaving the cabin, jumping in the Bronco Sport. Let's get it. Two hikes today, we just left the cabin. We're on our way back inside Shenandoah National Park. We're gonna go for two hikes today at least. We'll see if we get a third in. The first stop is Hawksbill Summit. Hawksbill Summit, which is the highest point in Shenandoah National Park at over 4,000 feet. The incredible views, it's supposed to be a pretty rocky trail, not too long, but pretty steep. So we're gonna check that out first, and then we're gonna go check out a waterfall. So let's get to it. Just going through the tunnel, we're heading up to our highest point in the Shenandoah National Park, Hawksbill Hike, coming soon. So let's get up there to mile marker 46.7. So, in the midst of our journeys, you run across Skyland, and Skyland is in the second quarter of the park. This is what we're dealing with. There's some lodging right here. I got a couple cabins you can rent. Some history about the park. What you can do with a general map of the whole park. Some information about Skyland. And here's some of the cabins. And then what's cool is as you come closer to the main building here, they got the dining room. You can get a little restaurant food. They got a tap room. So if you want some beer, you can go ahead and get yourself a nice beer and you come down this beautiful little walkway. We got a compass built into the cement. And there's the dining area overlooking the valley. Isn't that beautiful? It's pretty gnarly he's in there in the gift shop so let's go meet up with her and well, there she is the fun never stops <laughs> always spending bug spray for you Mm. Thank you. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's get my backpack on. How's that look? Looks pretty good. Let's go hiking. Hawks Bill. It's time. Hawks Bill Trailhead. So what are we doing here? We all live downwind. Hawksbill Loop, 2.9 mile circuit, moderate, two hours hiking time, 860 foot elevation gain, holy moly. Wait, which one are we doing? The lower Hawksbill, 1.7 mile, easiest, one and a quarter hour hike, 690 foot elevation gain. Yeah. So we can do the easier one if we want. Alright, well, let's figure it out and head to it picture taken yeah, so we we'll don't, just, get... don't get screwed. Update, update. We've been hiking for about a minute. Three minutes. <laughs> and we're, we're both out of breath. It's steep. It's not even that it's steep. Not, I know, but it's just a constant climb. Look we're, how fun it look. We're sore from yesterday. Yeah, it's pretty uphill, I guess. And it gets even steeper right here. But, what the heck, man. Get in shape, city boy.
How you doing? I'm sweaty, but I'm fine other than that. <laughs> How are you? I'm pretty bad. <laughs> we keep climbing. Yeah. Some sections are steeper than others, but nothing but uphill. So. Okay guys, after that 600 plus elevation climb, we made it to the top of the Hawksbill Trail. And we are just about to the overlook here, the top of the climb. So let's show you guys what all this hard work <laughs> gets us. <laughs> What about that view right there? Pretty awesome, huh? <laughs> worth, worth, it, yeah. worth it. It's worth it. Check it out. All right, let's walk over yonder here, see if we can get a different view. More rocky sustenance. Look at this cool, at 4,000 feet, we just go ahead and build ourselves the bird's nest shelter. Tin roof, stone, cement, modern picnic table. It's pretty cool. By Hawks Bill Summit. On to the next. That was day two, hike one. Look at this site here. Pretty beautiful, huh? I think it should be a perfect little spot for a tailgate lunch break with the Bronco Sport. We got Tootie in the back here with our lunch. Yummy, yummy. Day two, hike two, dark hollow falls. We're here, you hear the falls? Oh yeah, what a beautiful, beautiful hike this was. That culminates in this little piece of beauty right here nature at its finest I don't know if you guys can pick this up, but the depth of that waterfall, on the very top of it, comes over 
you know, 50 yards farther back, and then it gets closer to you as it comes down. It's like layered, very cool. Look how clear that water is. So this is Dark Hollow Falls. Hope you enjoyed that. That's day two, hike two. Out the back deck to the hot, smoky char broil grill. We got the sunset happening. Our little two burner, little ribeye steak action, salt, pepper, garlic, you know what it is. Waboom. Waboom. There it is. Beautiful. Got a couple steaks. We need the rest for a couple minutes. Tootie's in the camp. She is getting the sides ready. Potatoes. And broccoli to go with our steaks. Woo! This might look like a strip steak, but it's not. It's actually a ribeye. I went ahead and cut it exactly in half. I cooked two of them, but we're just going to eat half of one each. So I cut it right through the tail, the center, and the uh, cap. And then tomorrow for breakfast, we'll have steak and eggs with the other one. But look at that, how awesome that looks. Let me get it in some good light. Our little propane char broil did the trick. A perfect medium rare. Oh yeah. And Tootie's over here with the side. She's got the baked potato coming out. And we got some broccoli right here. And that's dinner at the cabin. Looking outside the window where the sun was setting. It's a beautiful dinner time here on vacation in the Shenandoah National Park. There's our potatoes. I guess I just grab one. Hot, yeah. hot, hot. And there it is. Yeah. A little butter on there. Maybe a little sour cream. Oh, yeah. Time to eat. Day three. No hiking today. Tony, where are we at? Luray Caverns. Luray Caverns. Let's get in there and show you something beautiful. We parked next to Good Company today. Bronco Sport, side by side. Parked there on purpose because I'm a dork. Let's go. Check it out. We are beginning our tour self-guided tour you can get headphones if you wanted it gives you all the numbered areas and it'll tell you some info about it but we're just going to give you some sights Nine twenty a.m. Day four, hike one, White Oak Trail. There's only three cars in the parking lot, so we are here alone essentially. Four point six mile, three and a half hiking time, a thousand foot elevation gain, and the return trip will be very steep. This will be our toughest hike thus far, the White Oak Trailhead. Let's rock and roll. Check out this cool rocky formation. It's like
Game of Thrones vibes. Check out these views. Another cool little bridge to cross. About an hour and 45 minutes into our hike. Very beautiful stuff here. Look at that, that's views right there. Convenient map located in the middle of the trail. We are here now. We started where, babe? Right there. Right there, and it's been almost two hours. We took our time and stopped a few places. It was actually an easier hike than we expected it to be. The way back will be worse because it'll be uphill, but it wasn't treacherously downhill. Slow and steady descent. We gotta go so, a little farther to the viewpoint. A little bit farther to the viewpoint of the falls, so let's get over there. And, and then if we want, we can go very far down here, That's which this is the steep, steep 1.3 mile treacherous yeah. section so we don't know if we're going to do that or not just under two hours with modest walking a few stops along the way we have made it to the falls viewpoint just over that rocky ledge let's check out something spectacular side note that sign is funny view okay <laughs> this is some steep stuff Be right careful. here yeah. oh my god yeah we don't want to die oh, here shit. this is like this is like a death rock yeah, what if it breaks off? I'm keeping the camera down. It ain't gonna break it off, just don't fall. Woo! Okay. Look how far down that goes. You ready for this view? Check it. It's about two, three hundred yards up there and it keeps coming cascading down and twisting all the way down here try to zoom in there's like a little pond at the bottom how gorgeous is that This is one of these locations where it's like, take one misstep yep, you're and over. you're not going to survive that fall. We are at least 200 feet in the air, at least, at least. over the ledge of this rock here. Day four, hike one in the books. I never appreciate food and drink more after three and a half hours of sweaty leg strenuous hiking. Mm -hmm. oh, it's just like freaking something as simple as a turkey sandwich. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, you know, if we were at home, we're like, I don't want a sandwich. Let's go somewhere. Yeah. Day four, hike two, with thunderstorm rolling in. Come on, lightning. I know. Ooh, oh, there it is. Did you get it? Tony did not like climbing the rocks. It was fun until this one. I don't, because you can't see out far until you're on this stupid one. There's a couple spots where you can die a little bit, but I'm so oh, proud of you. Well, I'm not, I didn't go up there, so you shouldn't be that proud. What one is it? 
day four, hike two. <laughs> So that's it everybody. I hope you enjoy all these uploads I have coming your way. We got six different videos we are making for this trip to Shenandoah National Park. Of course, we've got the entire vacation vlog, which is awesome. You're going to want to see that. And then we got one separate for the Luray Caverns. We got one for a particular hike that scared my wife to death. And we got a cabin tour from where we stayed and two different videos on the Bronco Sport. So I hope you enjoy that. Same outro for all videos in this series. I'm Mooch. This is Mooch Life. Peace out.